All right, a time for a Lee Sin game. This will be a full educational beginner's guide. I uh, have a yeah entire playlist you can find on the channel for other champions as well if you're interested. But I'll explain everything in as much detail as I can. Um, I mean, on Lee Sin, I'd rather hold my word actually. I'll just recall anyway because I was doing it regardless. It's a habit. But yeah, I'll hold my warding trinket for the ward hopes. I still want to know if this guy invades me because if he does some spicy stuff initially, that's worth a bit more than an initial ward hope to me to be able to adjust my jungle pathing to it. Otherwise, we're just going to start both side. Um, you can invade on Lee Sin. Uh, Jax is definitely a bit of a problem champ to invade because his dodge makes fighting him rather relatively difficult. Uh, it seems like I will not be getting a leash either. That's lovely. Okay, no problem. Just make sure you use your uh, spell and then hit two auto attacks into another spell. As much as you can, at least. Uh, you also, like, this gives you the attack speed from your passive. Uh, you also, your Q does more damage based on missing HP. So that is something to keep in mind. Try to smiting potentially before anything else. Take my W second here for a bit more sustain. Keep doing the two hits every spell. Uh, every single one of your spells has, like, two components to it, right? Your Q throws a skill shot, and then the second part does uh, dam more damage on lower health. Your first one gives you a shield on your W. Second one gives you a uh, lifesteal, essentially. And then your E. First one is your shockwave. That does AoE damage. Second one slows. And then your R kicks them away. Uh, when it comes to Lee Sin, there are many different ways to be fancy with him, essentially. And, like, have very... Like, all of them have uses, don't get me wrong. They definitely do. But there is no reason to get into Lee Sin and instantly start doing all the tricks. Because you don't really have to. Like, in this game, for example, I'll only be doing Lord Hops, which is literally the most basic thing. And that's it. That's all you really need. You can do an R Flash as well. Which I will show you in this game at some point for sure. Um, and that's that's all you have to know for Lee Sin. You don't have to make it too difficult on yourself. You just kind of be calm about it. Looks like we're just going to go for a full clear here. I have literally no gank options right now. Obviously, start at both sides, no leash, which is going to make me a bit slower. Uh, there's no reason for me to like quickly run top or anything like that, because Ilawi is just shoving, and he, she even got first blood as well, so... Kind of chilling. Keeping my cycle of, like, two auto-attacks into spell, into two auto-attacks, etc. To keep the clear going. I'm going to be slow. Lee Sin's initial clear is definitely not quick, especially if you do not get a leash at all. Uh, you're going to be slower for sure. I'll smite here to make a little bit more speed so I can make it for the potential top gank that this Jax might go for. Auto attack that once. There we go. Max your Q first. Go for the top scuttle. The Jax is here. I should have wave priority to fight him. Gonna hold my skills for now. I'm not gonna try to try to throw my Q from a big distance because I don't have to. Like all I have to do is just keep hitting him here. He use a ward hop, ward hop, sorry, to get ahead of him. Jesus Christ, what was that? <laughs> the man walked back into it. I'll put my potion just to be safe here. Dash this way so I get the other direction. I missed. Okay, I'm gonna just hit the clone then. My bad. Be safe, be calm. No need to rush into things. Go for that nicely. Good. Very good. Bit of a slow ward hop, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Gonna take the reset here. Nice back. Uh, we have 20 seconds on those void grubs. Okay, we're gonna go eclipse first item. That sounds like a de decent back to me. We're going, we have Ingenious Hunter, we're basically abusing Ingenious Hunter to lower the Eclipse cooldown, and we're also going to be going for the Sundered Sky at some point in this build, whether that's second item or third item, it's most likely going to be third in this game, because they are relatively tanky, so Black Cleaver is going to be quite good. I'm going to go for the Void Grubs quickly, because I saw this guy like run somewhere on both side, and I could just take these real quick, and just kind of turn my jungle glare around from top to bottom instead of going from bottom to top right now, because it seems like my Alawi is going to be absolutely fine. As she has complete dominance over top lane, there is no reason for me to start clearing towards top lane for the rest of this game. So I'm just going to do this real quick and then turn my clear around uh, when my Krugs respawn, essentially. 
which does risk me a slightly right now of the um of the jacks taking my bot side camps when he realizes i took the void grubs but that's not the most likely scenario he is bot lane though as you see level four has potential need to wait a little bit for them to actually spawn there in case you're wondering what i'm doing and then we queue over and this is better than walking around it's gonna take me a lot less time okay just clean this up let the pet do the work here pet hits twice after you auto attack so you just want to make sure you auto attack let the pet hit it twice and now we just full clear down this way we start playing for both side and start instead of playing for top side and that should be pretty good i might be able to look for some plays there because uh, clearly the alawi is not, there's nothing i'm gonna do for her in this instance it's all good clean that up the rest of these both side camps will be up here as well i might have to run mid lane in this instance though nope we're good i saw so oh, i saw some aggression i need to be here That's a dodge. Can't do much about that. Shield him here. Good. That is just like reacting to the situation, right? We we saw the Aurelia play relatively aggressive, and then we could just go for it. Now, in this instance, I'm going to go for his red buff because that is spawning right now. These camps are essentially defended, and for me, being able to take one of his camps is worth more. And in this case, that is his red buff. I will hold my warding trinket and my next W uh, from this point forward. To be able to ward hop over the dragon wall in case he shows up to fight me with his team or something like that. He got the smite timing over me. Wow. That sucks. I'm actually like relatively surprised that my smite didn't register above his smite. That's crazy. Alright. I mean, fair play, mate. Good smite. I clicked it as well myself, but apparently just a fraction of a second too late, I suppose. Sucks. Alright. Respectable. It is what it is. Clean that up. Hit level 6. We have to danger ping here once again. I... Don't think I have to go for this. Okay, that's looking way too suspect right now. They're diving as well. That's oh, too late. I'm gonna walk back into the circles for, for it just not to reset at the edge there. You need to walk yourself back into the circle. To go mid might be a kill on cast inside it not does he have enough mana he doesn't i don't think oh he's doing dragon okay that's not a problem go in with the q walk outside of his stun he goes back in that's no problem uh, flash good all we need I'm way too low to consider this. If I Q on that, I would die to early on soul damage. That would be horrible. Alright, that works well enough for me, really. I realistically should be recalling here. If I walk for this camp right now, I'm going to be taking too much time. Void Grubs will be spawning in 45 seconds. I just have to reset in this instance. And just make it towards the, the, the top scuttle spawn here. My top side will be defended regardless if I like walk for a scuttle here because that's going to be behind me in that instance. Those jacks won't be able to take those. I simply can just go for top scuttle, which is going to be the most contested camp here. And then I can do the void grab zone spawn because my Alawi should have enough priority for the, for her to help me out, if that makes sense. So we can just play like that. We can hit this to spot vision real quick. See where the jacks is at. Nowhere to be seen. That's fine. So in the meantime here, we're going to keep both smites, but we're going to just do this uh, scuttle right now. And then when the Void Grub spawn, I'll be able to do those. Uh, my Alawi should have Colossal Priority here. This should be fine. Gonna do the first one. We're insta-smiting the first one here because we have a second smite. So we can use that instantly on the next. Keep maxing Q. Cassidy should be alive, no problem. Like, no, literally no problem. And then we just finish this off. Next smite will be up, so we can use it on that as well if we need to, which I will do. And it's free. I'm going to insta-run mid lane here. Should be okay. Yeah, this is a three-man mid play. It seems like Aurelia does have some vision here, though. There's no reason to chase that. She does have teleport. She might be forced to use that top lane. My top side camps are currently entirely up as well, and I don't want to waste too much jungle time, so I'm going to have to clear those right now. He might take a dragon, but I'll take six void drops over one dragon. That's fine. Okay. 
clear my top side cams. After that, I'll probably be able to reset and go for the bot side once again, because I don't really want to be playing for top side still. So if I just clear my top side cams up, I can recall out of base, do wolves, do gromp, do dragon, perhaps if it's not cleared by then. And we look for something there. I might be able to kill this guy, perhaps, but if I do that, he would definitely go for the dragon, no questions asked. So I'm probably going to have to be careful about that. Instead, I'm just going to reset, go bot lane and have a play there. Cassidy is... Uh, Okay, still, got the Eclipse here. Uh, I will go for Mercs, I suppose, against that. I don't have much auto-attack based stuff. Not too much, uh, so Steel Caps are kind of eh. I could still go for them, to be fair. I'm upgrading all Magic Mantle into something else. It's still a Jack, still an Aurelia for some auto-attack damage, so it's not the worst thing in the world. It's about, like, do I need enough tenacity? And then the question becomes, am I going to go Sterex as well? Because if I'm going to go Sterex, then I'd need less tenacity in general. Uh, because of the tenacity that Sterex gives me. Extra W second on Lee Sin here. Uh, this way, I'm going to do Gromp, and then the Scuttle will spawn at about the right time. And I might be able to gank bot lane here as well. So I can get the Scuttle into the bot lane play. I need to finish this camp and go bot quick. Okay, that's already one kill. He's going to be playing relatively safe here. I'll place one ward. I have an extra ward. It's fine. Got the scuttle on spawn. Control of this. Question is, do I want to invade him on his red buff here? It's a good question to ask right now. Could go mid lane. She doesn't have mana. That's a pretty good gank, actually. No mana. Aurelia. Ooh. There's a Jax here. Jax with just blue buff to note, by the way. Like, just something to note right, real quick. Means he... Yep, there he is. Okay, I mean, he's gonna... Be here, right? now. There he is. Make sure that I walk away from his stun. Good damage. Just touch him real quick. Kill the small ones and just force him out of a jungle. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave, I think. I really, if, as long as my Thresh follows and, like, doesn't do nothing, it's free. Oh, I missed. I'm so bad at the game. Alright, we just ward hop over E and then finish him with ult damage in that instance because it's enough. Don't ult too early because otherwise you might kick him to freedom. But that is the ward hop we need. I'm looking for the dive here as well as finishing this camp real quick. Gonna go for the Tom Kenj, I think. Might have to flash here. That is actually very toxic there. I'm gonna just W to the minion and get away. Oh, okay, well. I, I queued, it, assuming that would hit and she would Q to it, but that wasn't the case. Quickly finish this guy off. Tap my W twice. Got a dash to this guy. Q the Aurelia. Go for the Aurelia. Hit the E. Boom, easy. Nothing to worry about. I'll, oh, I should have shielded him faster for the assist. That was a mistake on my end. Your W gives a shield to your ally, which gives an assist. And I should have shielded him faster. I thought I already shielded him for the assist on that one. But I didn't, apparently. So that's all me. Now, after that entire sequence, you obviously just get the dragon straight away. Get the objective in this instance. And then my entire jungle is up, so in this oh moment in time, I really don't want to go for like that Rift Herald, because I don't value the Rift Herald particularly highly currently. So for me, just clearing my entire jungle will give me overall more value, and that is what I'm going to do. I can, or the, uh, the Alawi could solo the Herald potentially, or I can do the Rift Herald after an entire clear, but I definitely want to make sure right now that I get all of my jungle camps to get the experience out of them. Because those are just currently worth a lot. Keep maxing W seconds. And we are finishing our clear right now. Instead of anything I'm doing, I'm definitely going for the clear because it's worth a tremendous amount more than anything I can otherwise do here. Uh, due to the amount of XP and I just need to get my smite upgrade and all of that stuff. So my, my mate, this teammate is pinging me here, but it's pointless for me because like no matter what here, my entire jungle is worth way more. Way, way, way more. If my half my jungle was down, I'd go for it. But, like, I can do this entire clear now into the potential Rift Herald, you know, everything. I have a lot of money as well. Just a bit much. Oop, that was not up. Oops. Uh, it's just a bit much. For, like, one or two kills. Eh. Probably just one, maybe. 
it's not worth it because I'd lose my entire top side. Potentially, instantly the Rift Herald as well. Uh, for no reason. Because I can do this into red buff. I'll hit level 11 nearly. I'll get the Rift Herald. You know, it's way stronger. I can smite that. I have another one. Finish that off. Not level 11 though. Okay, let's just hit the Rift Herald. Do the Rift Herald after I finish my entire clear. Because then it's fine to do. So I will. Keep using your skills and then hitting twice afterwards. As much as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect at this stage because you have plenty of skills to use. Rift Herald. Rift Herald is not the best to hold on to for Lee Sin, so I actually want to use it relatively quick if I can. I know his blue just spawned, so I'm going to go take that and wait for the Alawi here a bit. And then while we're like hovering top, we're basically going to try to use it quickly. To get rid of the Rift Herald so I can have my Ward Hops back. Because not having Ward Hops on Lee Sin kind of sucks. So we're just going to send the Rift Herald here instantly. The rest of their team is like bot side or whatever, so we can just kind of chill. Alright, just send it into the turret. Good, 700 gold there. If you can get the side turret, definitely do so. Okay, bounce it into the next turret because they're all mid lane, so we're chilling. Very good push with the Rift Herald here. Just auto attack the turret real quick, get it, and then we can fight potentially. And kick the guy. Oh, wait, I messed up. I thought I kicked him through the Vladimir, but apparently I didn't. And just get the war uh, get the jump out again towards the Alawi. That's uh, a bit far right now. Alawi walked back into it, which is a bit too greedy. I have 4.2k gold, so I definitely want it back. I got a lot of uh, gold out of the turret there. Now to note here, the dragon's gonna spawn in 138. So if I reset now with the enhanced reset, I'm doing well enough. We can go for this. I think still mercs are the way to go. So we do that and then we go cleaver next. Now in this instance here, we have 128 on the dragon, so all we do is just full clear all the way down, get the camp efficiency, and then we can play for the dragon spawn, pretty much right on spawn. And that should be uh, no problem. Get, the, get to the dragon about when everything is cleared, so we keep the efficiency for our clear. Really making sure to cycle through my camps effectively at all times. E that down. Now, the Ingenious I have is going to lower the Eclipse and the Sunder cooldown tremendously, so that's going to be high DPS. If I was less strong at this moment in time and the enemy was a bit stronger, I'd go Cleaver second, because the enemy team is relatively tanky in this instance. But because I'm a bit ahead, I can go Sundered Sky second, because I don't need the armor penetration just yet. I'm going to need it afterwards, but not just yet, and that's why I'm doing it this way around in this instance. It was a little bit more even, a little bit like I was not as in as strong of a position, I do it the other way around. Finish all my bot side camps off. I have a second smite, so I'm quickly just gonna kill this and go bot. Can I save him? No, I cannot. Can I get the kick? Are you kidding me? Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to kick him into the jacks, and I just was one range short or something. Interesting. Uh, we have a dragon situation. Uh, we have a dragon fight situation. Go for the Vladimir. I missed. He stood still. Interesting. I'll go for dragon. We see other two other top lane, but we'll just get the objective here. All right. Focus on this. Try to, uh, when you're securing smites, try to always smite when you're going in for a second Q if you can. Because the second Q will obviously do the lower, more damage on lower HP, so it's a bit more smite value at that point. Makes it a little easier to get. Give my team blue buff here. Good. Uh, mid turret's very low. Good look for this. I will stall, wait a bit in this instance. I'm not going to use too many skills here. We're just going to auto-attack it down slowly. See if they can go for an engage or not. I want to go for this turret here, if I can. I 
that's fine. Let's him out of that situation. Don't need to ult just yet. We can Q, uh, Q ult Q to, for burst damage to execute him real quick. This way, like your ult will do, do damage. Your Q again does more damage when the when the target is lower, right? Okay, that's good for me. Uh, so it does more damage when the target is lower, right? So you can Q R Q to get more damage out of your Q and try to execute or burst people. There's the FF vote. All right, so relatively quick game. I'll go for a second one here. Um, finish this build, I'd go Cleaver, and then I'd look at probably Force of Nature into a comp like that. Just like a tank item or a Bruiser tank item, like Death's Dance Maw, or like Force of Nature and like Thorn Mill, you know, if you, depending on how tanky you want to be. So yeah, I'll see you guys in game number two. Okay, so before we get into game number two, I quickly wanted to mention that about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. And if you're this far into the video, I can only assume you enjoy the content, so... Please consider subscribing, it would be greatly appreciated. Hitting the like button also helps out a lot. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy game number two as well. Alright, it's time for game number two here. We are Lee Sin again, of course, against a Fiddlesticks, which should be fine. I don't have a potion in this instance. Jax was a little scarier, scarier uh, fight situation-wise. Fiddlesticks, not so much. He's not going to invade me ever, so I know he's not going to try to early fight me either, most likely. So the potion is unnecessary. I could just save myself a bit of gold. Seems like this time I might actually be able to get a leash, which is uh, going to speed up my initial jungle clear a bit. At least it's still relatively slow, but you know. Uh, starting off again, Q. Uh, I also explained the abilities in the last game, so he should be fine on those. Going to be starting over here, clearing towards top, seeing if I can get like an early play towards the Mordekaiser. Okay, I, I, I thought for a second my Q was going to go through that, because that looked really weird. But sure. <laughs> okay. A right, good leash. Works for me. Smite that real quick. Take the W for the sustain, so I'm actually, like, relatively healthy. E is technically faster, because obviously it does damage, but this way you can sustain yourself no problem on, like, high HP, so that's what I'm doing. Two hits, auto attack two hits, as previously, right? As much as possible. This way you can use your passive attack speed effectively. Good. A uh, fiddle is going to be much faster than me in a clear. I might look for like an early, uh, like an early gank, even if it's like gonna come up. We'll see. Like some aggression potential on mid lane. I'm definitely not gonna go bot lane. That would be a mistake, because at that point I'd pro pretty much donate my entire top side to the fiddlesticks, which is not something I'm looking to do. Mostly focus the big one here. Keep using the auto attacks with the skills. Mordekaiser is walking up quite far here. I'll be consistent for now and just clear the Raptors. You know, just get the full clear in there. Be nice and clean with it. There is in, the, in this instance definitely options to potentially go top with how hard this guy is pushing. Uh, but it's not like I have an amazing top laner to gank for, because Garen doesn't have any form of CC. If I had, like, a Renekton, it'd be definitely more guaranteed. But now I could just kind of chill, wait for this, clean up these two camps here, and I should be fine to um, gank after. And smite the Krugs, or the red buff there, which is fine. And bot's pushing in as well. I'll finish my camps here. We're just going to go for the nice full clear level 4. Again, Lee Sin's not the fastest at this, but it's just consistent. I should kill the, with the pet, and then we just move. I'm the ghost in, buddy. Go. Don't use your anything. Because you want to use everything after he does anything, if that makes sense. Try to just walk in as close as possible. He has teleport. Fiddle 6 is bot lane. I should help him push the next wave. Because that's the best thing I can currently do for the guy. Otherwise, the wave is going to be frozen in a bad spot. So we're just going to do that for him. There's no way this guy's going to fight this. Surely not. Shield him a little bit here. Okay, I'm losing this fight badly. He's going to Q me here. I'm just going to flash it. Ooh. Okay. He, he almost anticipated that correctly. My Garen just walked back for the wave. Maniac moves. Let's go. Kill him. Close one. 
<laughs> we know Fiddlesticks is bot lane, so we're chilling. We can just shove out the wave once again for him here. There we go. That's a bit of a spicy one. That's a bit, a uh, bit of a spicy one for sure. Currently, we have the uh, four minutes uh, again here in this instance. The let me just buy all this real quick. The uh, Void Grubs are going to spawn again, and I have killed this guy twice on top lane now, so that should be decent enough impact for top side. He's also clearing my bot side camps. He started on his top side. I'm just going to go for the Void Grubs. It takes my Gromp. I can do like Void Grubs here into probably his top side, maybe. He's over here. Might go for the Dragon. I'm just going to send these Void Grubs. She is relatively low, but there's not much of a gank angle there. This guy is going to waste a bunch of time. Do Void Grubs into, like, his Gromp and Wolves, most likely. Just a trade. I could Smite once here, and I sh I'm probably not going to have the second one. But again, the guy's not going to be here, so it doesn't really matter. He took my Gromp, I take the Void Grubs, that's fine. Obviously, like, that makes sense for him to do, right? Like, something like that, still. Because obviously, I just did the entire top lane escapade for uh, like, quite a while. For the second kill as well. So we'll just do this, we take Top Scuttle, we take maybe his Gromp, if that's going to be an option. If not, like, I do have to be careful here for the Syndra, uh, because my Lux is currently not available. Let me put it like that. So, because she is not available, I will have to be somewhat careful. Somewhat. There is the Fiddlesticks. Can't go too aggressive here. Syndra is going to come out of base. Lux has to shove an entire wave. It's not going to be looking too good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I currently have just an entire jungle to do, so I'm just going to get my XP. It's okay. That guy is going to go for it, maybe. I, I respect Syndra too much in this instance. Mordekaiser can rotate relatively quickly, and Lux can't. So it's going to just be a straight-up disadvantage in that scenario, and I don't particularly feel like doing that. My entire jungle is basically going to be up. Grump will respawn relatively soon as well. So there's no reason for me to not just do this. No way Garen dies to that gank. That would be criminal. Uh, this does confirm to me, though, Fiddlesix is using that time to go top. So instead of going for my uh, camps here on my bot side, I can just go for his bot side camps now. Because he's going to waste his time. He's going to probably do blue. He's going to probably do um, his wolves as well, walking down to it. These camps are going to be defended since I'm already bot side. So in this instance, I can just decide to go for his bot side camps. Take those, maybe get his red buff on spawn or stuff like that. Close to distance, we know his camps are up. So we sent those. And this way we can counter jungle because we know exactly where he is and we can just use that to our advantage. They might have to go for this because that is just necessary. She landed the stun or the snare. So I just have to in that instance. Fiddle six is back top lane once again. Can you land the snare, please? This is like, it's just. All right, got it. That's going to be my death, I think. Nope, we're good. Jesus Christ. That's a bit risky. We take those. We're just going to instantly reset here. We took his Raptors. That's fine. We're just going to come out of base. This is still relatively defended because he can't get there in time. But I need to not diddle deddle too much and actually just get over there and clear my bot set camps now. Wait for a little bit of HP here. That's enough. We don't have to wait permanently. We have 134 on the Void Grubs now, so we're just going to clean our bot side camps. By the time we walk to our top side camps, they should all be respawning. And then we can just take the top side, Void Grubs, all that. Bot side will be gone, so they can't, he can't take that from me. Might be an angle here for this bot lane play, though, maybe, if I have to. Don't particularly want to give the Void Grubs, to be fair, at this point. I don't just kind of want to get six now. As you can see, the top side camps are now also respawning. Go on this guy. That's annoying. That's very annoying. No, let me kick. What the? Dude. Wow. Like, I couldn't kick the Nami to finish, and I couldn't kick the Ash to finish. I was just CC'd. That is so painful. Wow. Yeah, that sucks. Good rotation from Cinder. Like, I, I, I was about to kill both of them. Like, literally. They were both like one instance of damage away from death. That sucks. That's very sad for me, actually. Might have to rotate to this guy. Today will be a world test. 
Mm. No, I'm just gonna go for the Raptors into the Void Grubs. That's really actually really bad for me. Like, that fight was really, really bad. Sucks. He's gonna take my blue buff. He should die for that one, I think. Just hit the plant. What are you doing? Ah, whatever. Group them together, hit the Q. I just do the Void Grubs. He gets my blue buff, I guess. They kind of let him get away with that. All they have to do is just hit the plant, you know? No, like, they're not gonna kill him in time. They have no damage. That's okay, though. Get these, get the scuttle on top side. I'm gonna use my other smites for the scuttle here, I think. Get the six void grubs. Little six has uh, gotten relatively lucky, I will admit. That kind of sucks for me, but we'll see. Get that down. Go for this, that's fine. Ah, she waited too long. Nope, nope, please hit it, please hit it. Nice. I'll just finish him with a kick for damage there. I use all my other skills first so I don't accidentally not kill her with kick and then put her in a safe place. That would be bad for me. So that's why we kick at the last moment after we used everything else when the CC of the Burgana Q is about to run out. Luckily, she didn't walk back to her turret and didn't respect that in angle, so that's good for us. I'm gonna clean up my topset camps now and I'm probably just gonna reset look for a bot to see if I can get some plays on that. Piddle 6 is 6, so they're going to have to respect his ultimate from this point forward. Ash is going to be in trouble in a second here, but I need to finish my topside cam, so I'm going to go bolt after that. Alright, max W second. Let's go bolt. Get the Eclipse. We get the Mercs against that team for sure. Eclipse, Mercs. Beautiful. I got one control ward for some ward hold potential. Enough danger pings, fit, hazard. If she dies to that gank now, it's gonna be uh, gonna be criminal, but I'm gonna bolt as fast as possible here. Ash doesn't have ult currently, sadly, but Morgana has flash R. Please just flash ult in. It's really free. You just have to do it. You just have to do it. Please do it. What are you doing? Just go. What are you doing? This is criminal behavior from you, man. You're serious. Alright, she is at least dead. Wow. You have, like, she has flash ult up and ignite and she doesn't use it. It's like, what the heck, man? Just flash ult and it's free. That's fine, whatever. We got them at the end, luckily. Fair enough. We are, our camps are going to be up here. Uh, Fiddle just ulted mid. Shoo, not bad. There's a ward here. I know there's a ward here. Like, it, I have to just run at him, essentially. Like, I either see him or I don't. I did. Ward hold, please. Good. Let's see if I can get an angle on this side. Before he gets the reset off. Didn't. Teleport's gonna come in now. Fair enough, he's saved. But this does mean I just get his bot side camps though. Because there's nothing he can do about that, so I'll just take that instead. I would have dove there, by the way, if the teleport wasn't a thing. I would have probably sent that. That's down, that's fine. Ash has ult, so I could look for a bot lane play. As long as my Morgana doesn't just run mid lane now, that would be an, uh, that would be a move and a half. I'm not going to use Q, we're just going to slowly kill this, wait for our Morgana to get relatively close, and I might be able to look for a play. This is going to be level 9, beautiful, and we just send it now. That's... Alright, going to hold my Q here. That is such horrible timing, I'm, ha I'm not happy about that at all. I Q'd and she ulted me and it just cancelled my Q, it's not good. Uh, that's kind of bad on my end. Could have played that better. Shove out the wave, I suppose. Go dragon, maybe. I think I just send dragon here. Because I'm pretty sure Fiddle6 at this point is just doing Rift Herald, so... It's fine with me. I'm just gonna do Drake. I feel like I should place a ward over the wall not to get Fiddle6 ulted out of nowhere. Sounds like a plan to me. 
I'm expecting the Rift Herald to die here any second now. It's got the Drake. Too aggressive to go for this guy. We might be able to go for the Syndra on mid lane. Pretend, depending. Oh, one range short, really? Man. That sucks. Alright, Iron Jungle is up, so we're just going to be taking that. We cannot lose too much camp tempo on this. Don't care about the Rift Herald once again. I really don't care. If he takes it, he takes it. If not, I'll take it later, but I think in this instance... Yeah, there it is. I think in this instance I should just go bot lane. Ash is gonna have ult soon. Ash ult in 7 seconds. Fiddle of 6 is ulting mid. Hopefully that's not too bad. A double kill for Fiddlesticks. That kind of sucks. It's probably gonna be a Herald mid then. Not even. It seems like the enemy is just freezing bot lane. So I don't get to do too much there. Okay, they're pushing it out now. I have one time for one more camp because they have to shove the next wave as well. So I'll just do one more camp here and I'll go bot lane. Because I think at this point I'm losing my top side camps to fiddle six anyway. It doesn't particularly matter. Kind of wait for my Morgana to get back there maybe. Alright, go bolts. Ash has ult so it should be free. Why are you walking backwards so far, Ash? Can you please just... Oh god, and then you just do that out of nowhere. Yep, of course you do. Right, got hit by that. Oh, de Urgh. those Nami bubbles are absolutely decimating me, by the way. Like, she. Uh, gonna... It's fine. I'm a little bit annoyed by that. Like, the Ash doesn't throw her ult initially, steps backwards, and then just ults when I'm at the furthest possible distance away from her. Like, I can't engage on that. I need to respect the fact that Nami ults are gonna interrupt me, though, which I didn't do, obviously. Alright, send it Sky next. It's fine. I'm gonna just move top lane here. Hopefully, that Herald doesn't get the bounce on this turret. I mean, it could work. I will be running there as fast as I can. Garen is just kind of AFKing the wave a bit too hard. Right, Red is here, so I can just go take that. I really feel like I should have gotten a double kill on bot lane, to be honest. But, yeah, what can I do? Smite upgrade, beautiful. Mm, chances at this? I think their blue might be there. You dragged... Oh, man. It's, uh, it's so sad. Like, he just dragged it, basically. Warthold, get the position. Q. That's not going to be enough damage. I hate myself. Yep, confirmed. I'll kill this guy then, at least. That's what you don't want to do with it, basically. I might be able to cheese the guy. Nope. I see no one, sadly. Damn, that's why you don't kick early. I thought it was going to be enough damage, but it clearly wasn't. That sucks. She had like one HP. Your TP's mid. We go for this. Lux, why are you so scaredy cats, man? I was literally right there. Damn, okay. All she had to do there is just get the Q on the teleport, because she's always going to spawn behind the, the behind the turret on the teleport, and then kill the turret with the next auto attack, and then Cinder just insta dies. Gonna use this for the ward hop. Close the distance. Gonna hit this real quick so he doesn't get to walk away. And then he's dead. Make sure to get the knockback out of the way. At this moment, I just killed the fiddlesticks. And I'm just gonna take all of his camps now. Like, the moment you kill the enemy jungler, you just take all they have. It's that simple. Check this. Check his red buff. There is his red buff. Make sure to assist ping so my Morgana would walk this direction as well. I have to smite that, unfortunately. Doesn't miss the binding. Beautiful. And she's dead. Perfect. Let's go this way. Morgana's not going with me for the plant. It's okay, I suppose. Let's go this way. Just ult the guy, please. All you have to do is ult the guy, please. Kick him into the wall so he gets CC'd into the wall. And then I just finish him with an E. Works for me. I'd want to look for the turret here. So I'm just going to hit it. Two hits. I get the auto attack speed from my passive. There we go. Beautiful. Dragon's gonna spawn in 20 seconds. I'm gonna take my reset to be able to purchase my items right now. And we'll go for the dragon at that point. Sundered Sky into Cleaver. Actually. Nope. Not Cleaver. I'm gonna go... Maw next. 
I'll buy two long swords, screw it. I'm gonna go Ma next because the magic is just going to be stronger. I don't need armor penetration against the team. They're not gonna build any armor anytime soon. I can build Cleaver later. Ma's gonna be great here, so we're gonna go for that. I already have enough tenacity, so the Sterics is not gonna be too great, and the magic resist is gonna be very good here. So we go for that for sure. Okay. Uh, I wanna look for the dragon, but at the moment I can't really look too quickly. Just ult him! What are you doing? Can you just click R, please? Ash! Thank God that took you forever. Right. Works for me, whatever. Ward hold close the distance. E. You again. Perfect. Don't need to kick just yet. Okay, Senna's in a bad spot, so we go for Senna first. Q this. Get behind. Nope, not necessary. W for the assist, and we just auto attack once. Wait for my Q's energy. And go over the wall. Good. Not a bad fight whatsoever. Didn't have to kick there. I always try to hold my kick for like when I actually need it. Or when it like actually kills. Because as you saw earlier, if I do it incorrectly, I can give the Syndra freedom. Like I just did on topside, I saved her life essentially. By missing the kick damage on one HP. It's a bit too many people there on top lane. For the Garen to deal with. How much is my Maw gonna run me? Oh, I can buy this after this camp, that's beautiful. Perfect, get a Maw. Go out of base, take the red buff. Because uh, it's spawning soon, give the red buff to the team, and then we look for the next play. Beautiful. Now, all I really have to do here is, I think, I just build Maw and I build Force of Nature next, and like they can never kill me again. Ever. Basically. Sounds like a plan to me. Have enough damage. Force of Nature is going to be incredible with this. And then, yeah, their Fiddlesticks, Syndra, and Mordekaiser will never damage me again. Nami wouldn't damage me either. Oh, not spawned yet. And uh, Senna will do some damage to me, but if I just kind of focus her, maybe that'll be fine. And then last item, probably Cleaver if I still need it. Could go for, like, maybe a Death Stance or something. Ooh, they got Fiddlesticks ulted. That's rough. Use this to go over the wall. Go in close. Shield the guy. Q. Auto attack. And give the kill to Garen. Because I don't need it. They're pushing mid. Gonna have to rotate over for that one. I'll get this because it's quite a bit of money actually. Quick E. Go over the wall. They don't get to finish the turret here. This is all good. I'm just gonna hop the wall real quick. Let's go. Q onto the Senna, which I missed. We're just gonna wait for the Garen to be in position now. Walk out of that Fiddlesticks blue. I actually have to flash, that sucks. Senna does a lot of damage. Alright, so it's a bit more damage than I was expecting there from Senna. Okay, thank god that didn't kill me. That would have been rough. Can't reach this, sadly. I want the assist at least, but I'm never, never gonna reach that in time. Okay, get the assist now at least. I get the kill now, but that's fine. We should indeed Baron. This is definitely the time to Baron after killing Fiddle Six just now. That is good. Okay, I was disrespecting Santa damage a little bit too much. He may have gotten lucky on crits as well in that instance, perhaps. But I definitely need a bit of an armor item. I might end up... S mm, nah, probably not switching my boots. It seems pretty troll. Because the tenacity is actually quite nice. I do have quite a bit of tenacity in my runes though, so perhaps I could... But I need to respect Senna damage slightly more. If I didn't miss my Q on Senna just one shoulder, I guess I would have been fine too, but... You know. Oh, oh, the kick was not necessary. I was about to kick her to finish her off there, not to waste any time. But Morgana gets the kill, that's okay. Uh, yeah, armor seems a little necessary, perhaps. I uh, just, like... I mean, I kind of want to just go Force of Nature. I can go, like, Force of Nature Thorn Mill, actually. Yeah, just go defensive. It's not too bad. My damage should be fine. I'll go Force of Nature first still, though. I'll just try to play uh, a little to the tune of trying to kill Senna first. I could go Thorn. I could just go Death's Dance for damage still. Still don't need the Cleaver, so I don't have to worry about that too much in this game. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure how I want to go about finishing this. I definitely want to Force of Nature because that makes it impossible... For Syndra, Fiddlesticks, or Mordekaiser to ever kill me ever again. 
And then it's just Senna who's a threat, and then I just have to build something against that guy, which could be a Thor mill, but it probably could just be a Death's Dance, and it should be okay. Which is probably gonna end up, do end up being Death's Dance, actually, yeah. I feel like going Thor mill probably a little bit too unnecessary. I did it again. Like, she keeps interrupting me on my... Ah. Just smite it. Get this. Get this guy. He should never damage me in time. Surely not. I have... Literally have Ma. Like, just W twice for the sustain. Q him twice and he's dead. Yeah. Force of nature makes it even less of a chance later, but, you know. She gets out. No problem. Dragon in 30 seconds. Oh, he doesn't go for... I was expecting Garen to just Q at the guy, but... Oh, he's running through turret. I just see the dragon here in 20 seconds. I'm probably just going to take the objective. I can reset for the Force of Nature afterwards. going to be pretty strong. Not looking too bad. I have to use some of my time to pick up some of these things for some extra stats, I guess. Get rid of this thing as well. Decent shove on mid. Just get the Drake. Make sure to keep the objective control. Get a force of nature next, and then all I have to concern myself with is killing Senna in time, and that's it. There we go. Beautiful. Next last item, as I said, will be a Death's Dance in this game. I think that's fine. He was just way too deep there. Like, I could nev never even run there in time, by the way, in case you're wondering. Like, for me, here, there, he's just dead. Like, I just reset. It's fine. Yeah, force of nature makes me literally invincible against, well... Everyone but Senna. And then Death Dance should stall enough damage from the Senna and give me enough armor to be fine. Good. Also, uh, just a note here as well, for in case you didn't know, this also includes Trinkets. So Lee Sin's Wards hops with Ingenious Hunter are also going to be up quicker. Just just in case you didn't know that. Like, it helps with your Sterax, uh, or not your Sterax, I mean it helps with Sterax as well, but it helps with your Eclipse Sundered build for more procs quicker, but it also helps you with your trinket, which gives you more more ward hops on Lee Sin. So it's actually very, very worth it. We take this, we take the red buff. We just kind of wait for Garen to respawn at this moment in time. We don't want to go too aggressive on certain plays. We just wait for our Garen to be back because he is relatively strong and the rest of my team, not particularly. Like my Ash is still relatively weak. Um, you know, I can easily fight the Mordekaiser. Like I have way too much magic resist for him to be irrelevant to me whatsoever. He'll never kill me ever. If he kills me some, somehow now, that's going to be funny, but yeah, it's not going to happen. That's decent from him. He flashed. I'll take a flash for a ward hop. Not too bad. Not a problem whatsoever. I'm not going to go too aggressive because I do have, still have to respect the fact that the rest of the team could be there. Since I literally see no one. So I have to respect the fact that like they could all be in this bush, for example. So I don't want to go too aggressive. Just taking a flash for a ward hop is absolutely fine. Solid kill. I'm just going to go in from behind on the Mordekaiser here. He has no flesh now, so he's completely dead. E first. Slow him. Hit the Q for free. Wait for the knockback. Use the Q again. Keep auto attacking him. He has no flesh now, so he's guaranteed to be dead. E first before you Q, so your Q does more damage. And then he's dead. Don't have to kick him there, because it's not necessary. Don't waste your kick. Beautiful. Ow. Can you Ashul please? Ashul please? Ashul please? Ashul please? Hello today? Jesus man, are you kidding me? <laughs> like what? Will I? Like please? You see him like so long ago? I don't understand. Oh, let's go. That should be enough damage, right? Yeah, that's enough. It's fine. That literally tickles me as you see. An entire Cinderella does literally zero damage to me, so that's good. Fair enough. Mm, fiddle six and Nami. I just hit third. Okay, now I'm gonna have to apparently be respectful. Am I, am I gonna die here? Can you just give me a jump, please? Like anything relatively close would be helpful. I don't know why Garen's leaving. We could have probably just ended, I think. But sure. That's fine. I killed the fiddle sticks. This moment in time, the team is gonna respawn too too soon, so we're just gonna send the Baron when it spawns, basically. 
The jungler is dead now, so it's a free baron. Garen, can you like... I need the Garen to be able to do the Baron, otherwise it's not going to happen. Like, can you literally just like... Go for Baron while the jungler is still dead, please? With who? Dudes! Yeah, you are delusional, mates. I'm just going to leave, it's fine. I have no... I don't have enough damage to kill Baron by myself. It's not possible. Like, it's gonna take me forever on Lee Sin, because I'm gonna have to be the one tanking it as well, which reduces my damage by 50%. So the Garen just needs to be there, so I can actually do full damage to it, and now I just don't get the Baron. Just do the Dragon at this point, mate. Like, don't be... don't be deft. Get the soul. We needed to do Baron right there while Fiddlesticks was still dead, so we don't risk anything. But now I'm still going to take Drake's all over Baron. Just to make sure I have it. Yeah. Alright, it's fine. The only way I Like, if Ash was still alive, then I could just do Baron. Because Ash does a respectable amount of Baron damage with his setup. It would have been fine. But it's just me and Morgana, and whoever tanks Baron does 50% less damage to Baron, so my damage source on Baron is going to be incredibly low, and I'll just never kill it in time. I'll be able to tank it, no problem, but I just won't have the damage without Garen in that instance, and it's just not going to be too good. I have a smite, so I'm just going to use it here. We're going to go back for the Death's Dance, and then we just Baron. I feel like Garen's going to die before anything, but I'm going to take the reset because of the Death's Dance being uh, purchasable for me right now, so it finishes my build out nicely. And then all I have to do here is just send walk to the Baron and hope my Garen reacts to it this time, so we can actually do it. I mean, this time it wouldn't have mattered as much because Ash would have been there uh, for damage and Lux would have been there for damage as well. So it would have been fine regardless, but yeah. There we go. Just gonna cleanly finish this out. Two smites. And all I have to do now is just kill the Mordekaiser, so it's gonna run straight at him. He's not- there's nothing he can do against us, he's just dead. Mm, let's see if I can... Mm, oh, there's a Nami there. That works for me. Let's go in. Kill the Nami real quick. It's fine, he ults me, no problem. Literally, my build, he's never ever going to kill me in any dimension ever, so there's no problems. Q him here. Okay, the Senna is hitting me at the end there, actually. I disrespected Senna damage there, that's on me. Yeah. I mean, he was never he was never gonna kill me, but, like, as you can see, the Senna damage kind of kicked in quite heavily at the end, and I disrespected it. I, I, yeah, uh, I didn't, I didn't respect Senna damage. I don't have enough armor for that. I feel like I might honestly be fine selling these boots for steel caps to deal with Senna damage a bit better. Because the tenacity is not as big of a deal as it initially thought it was so i can just do this with the red bolt and be okay uh it, it's too much disrespect with the build i have currently towards the center and that was not particularly good against mordekaiser all right i was chilling that's not not a problem but yeah against center not so much all right it's my bad i will not do that again i will uh, play a little bit more respectful instead of trying to go in 1v9 no need for that No problem. I will uh, fix that. Play wouldn't engage with my Garen, and it's just a free win. If I kill Senna first, it's completely a free win. But now I also have Steel Cap, so I reduce Senna's damage by quite a lot. It's actually quite good. I will have less CC or Tenacity, but I still have a decent amount out of my runes, so it should still be okay. Um, I just need to keep that in mind. Alright, let's take this. Just five man group and it should be okay. They have one turret. Like if I just play like with my team here instead of trying to go in like a dumbass, it should be completely free. Should be no worries. Don't particularly need my camps. I'm just like kind of hitting them at this point. You can have it. Take it. Yeah, exactly. I I my build's way too stacked out like there's no nothing to, i'm just gonna send bolts inhib or bolt wave push for the inhibitor
I just want them to not get killed by Fiddlesticks ultimate over that wall. That's why I'm danger pinging like that. Uh, there's... Oh, please. Like, thank God they, they spotted him. That would have been real bad. The wave is going to shove in with the next minion there. It's okay. Going to clean up the next wave. It's going to shove. It's fine. No worries. There are two people on me. That's completely okay. Absolutely stressed about nothing. They win this fight with Cinder completely in Narnia, so that's all I care about. I don't have to be in this fight to win that. I could just distract some attention from the Cinder and she's dead. Right here, I'll actually show you the R kick. So you just walk up to him, you R, you flash into a direction, and whatever like direction you're flashing, she will fly the opposite. So it's a free kill. Uh, just so you that's something you can do to like flash behind them. Like you can stand ahead of them and then flash behind them to kick him into your team. That's like a mechanic at the end, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, healing done here, damage done doesn't show, but crit's kind of kind of high here. Damage blocked to 40, 200, 17 or 1800 damage there. Damage shielded here also gets reduced by the Ingenious, of course, and that is it for Lee Sin. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like button below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats for game number one here, I ended up doing 14.3k damage, which is a decent amount, not too bad. True damage here at 968. Objective damage at 48k, very, very good, obviously. Healing done at 15.5. Damage taken at 21.2. Self-mitigated at 22.6. Gold earned at the most at 10.8k. And then for the runes, Conqueror healed me for about 400, but obviously adaptive damage is something you don't see here. A triumph, a bit of HP, not too much. CC reduction there, lost stand for more damage in closer fights. We have Eyeball Collection for extra stats and an Ingenious Hunter to reduce the uh, Trinket cooldown, but also your Eclipse and your Sundered Sky cooldown. And this way you'll have more Wired Hops and more overall damage performance out of these two items. So yeah, quite good value there. Moving into the second one here for this game. I ended up doing 35.7k damage. True damage at 2200 solid. Objective damage at 62k there. Healing done, 28k. The damage taken at 42.8. Uh, Self-medicated damage here at 71.1, which is a lot. And we have gold earned at 18.5k. Garen had a bit more than me. He got to farm a lot of top waves as well as uh, the last fight. I didn't particularly do much because of the zoning of the Syndra. So that's why I also lost on damage here at the end because of that last fight especially. I wasn't in that, so that's like 4 or 5k damage missed easily. Uh, so, you know, yeah, Gold Urn had that, so runes. We have Conqueror healed me for about 900, but obviously the adaptive damage is something you don't see, but it's very valuable. Uh, Triumph for additional healing and gold. Tenacity CC reduction, lost stand for more damage in those closer fights for better snowballing potential in like early game fight wins. Eyeball collection, extra AD, and then again the Ingenious Hunter for the Trinket cooldown, and then your Eclipse cooldown and your Sun Sky cooldown, and in this case your Maw cooldown or Sterax or... Whatever item you build with item cooldown, really. Uh, and there is a lot of them that are pretty good in Lee Sin's build. So, yeah. With that being said, though, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you didn't, make sure to like button below. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.